warm greetings from TNV Academy. Today in this session, we are going to discuss about CMMI, which is Capability Maturity Model Integration. However, just apart from CMMI, we will be discussing other concepts as well. So let me just tell you about the other key takeaways of this particular session. At the end of this session, you will be able to understand history of CMMI, what is CMMI, rule of appraisal in CMMI, maturity levels of CMMI, capability levels of CMMI, what does updated version of CMMI tells about various CMMI certifications. So let's begin our discussion and first discuss about the history of CMMI. The CMMI was developed to combine multiple business maturity models into one framework. It was born from the software CMM model developed between 1987 and 1997. CMMI version 1.1 was released in 2002 followed by version 1.2 in 2006 and version 1.3 in 2010. Version 1.3 was replaced by version 2.0 in March 2018. In its first iteration as the software CMM, the model was tailored to software engineering. Following versions of the CMMI became more abstract and generalized, allowing it to be applied to hardware, software and service development across every industry. With the release of version 2.0, the process has been streamlined. The CMMI previously addressed three areas of interest, including product and service development, service establishment and product and service acquisition. But they have all been merged into one standalone model. Let us now move forward and discuss about the concept of CMMI. Capability Maturity Model Integration CMMI, is a process level improvement training and appraisal program. The Capability Maturity Model Integration is a process and behavioral model that helps organizations streamline process improvement and encourage productive, efficient behaviors that decrease risks in software, product and service development. The CMMI is designed to help improve performance by providing businesses with everything they need to consistently develop better products and services. But the CMMI is more than a process model. It's also a behavioral model. Businesses can use the CMMI to tackle the logistics of improving performance by developing measurable benchmarks, but CMMI can also help create a structure for encouraging productive, efficient behavior throughout the organization. The purpose of the CMMI model is to assess the maturity of an organization's processes and to provide guidance on improving processes with a goal of improved products. Also, CMMI is a model for risk management and provide a way to measure an organization's ability to manage risk. The ability to manage risk factors into an organization's ability to deliver high quality products. Another perspective on managing risk is how well an organization will perform under stress. A high maturity, high capability organization can easily respond to unexpected stressful events. A low maturity and low capability organization tends to panic under stress, blindly follow obviated procedures or throw out all process altogether and retrench back to chaos. The CMMI, however, isn't a proven indicator of the economic performance of an organization. Although higher maturity organizations may manage risk better and be more predictable, Evidence exists that higher maturity firms tend to be risk averse. Risk aversion can lead to a lack of innovation or evidence of a greater bureaucracy that results in long lead times and a lack of competitiveness. Lower maturity firms tend to be more innovative and creative but chaotic and unpredictable. When results are achieved, they are often the results of heroic effort by individuals or managers. We now move forward and discuss about the rule of appraisal in CMMI. An organization cannot be certified in CMMI, instead an organization is appraised. Depending on the type of appraisal, the organization can be awarded a maturity level rating 1 to 5 or a capability level achievement profile. Many organizations find value in measuring their progress by conducting an appraisal. Appraisals are typically conducted for one or more of the following reasons. The first one, to determine how well the organization's processes compare to CMMI best practices and to identify areas where improvement can be made. The second one, to inform external customers and suppliers of how well the organization's processes compare to CMMI best practices. And the third one, to meet the contractual requirements of one or more customers, 
appraisals of organizations using a CMMI mode must conform to the requirements defined in the appraisal requirements for CMMI that is the ARC document. There are three classes of appraisals A, B and C which focus on identifying improvement opportunities and comparing the organization's processes to CMMI best practices. Of these, class A appraisal is the most formal and is the only one that can result in a level rating. Appraisal teams use a CMMI model and ARC confirmant appraisal method to guide their evaluation of the organization and their reporting of conclusions. The appraisal results can then be used to plan improvements for the organization. There are three different type of appraisals including benchmark, sustainment and action plan reappraisal. These are the only types of appraisal that are authorized to generate a maturity or capability level rating. Another type of appraisal is called the evaluation appraisal. The evaluation appraisal is typically used as a gap analysis and data collection tool. In addition, it can be employed as a user acceptance or test appraisal. The results of the benchmark, sustainment and APR are published on the CMMI Institute website known as PARS and is available for viewing by the public. Only a certified lead appraiser can conduct an appraisal to generate a maturity or capability level rating. We now move forward and discuss about the various maturity levels of CMMI model in detail. The CMMI model breaks down organizational maturity into five levels. For businesses that embrace CMMI, the goal is to raise the organization up to level 5, the optimizing maturity level. Once businesses reach this level, they are not done with the CMMI. Instead, they focus on maintenance and regular improvements. CMMI maturity levels are Maturity level 0, which is incomplete. At this stage, work may or may not get completed. Goals have been established, goals have not been established at this point and processes are only partly formed or do not meet the organizational needs. Maturity level 1, which is initial. Processes are viewed as unpredictable and reactive. At this stage, work gets completed but it's often delayed and over budget. This is the worst stage a business can find itself in. An unpredictable environment that increases risk and inefficiency. Maturity level 2, which is managed. There is a level of project management achieved in this stage. Projects are planned, performed, measured and controlled at this level, but there are still a lot of issues to be addressed. Maturity level 3, which is defined. At this stage, organizations are more proactive than reactive. There is a set of organization-wide standards to provide guidance across projects, programs and portfolios. Businesses understand their shortcomings, how to address them and what the goal is for improvement. Maturity level 4, which is quantitatively managed. This stage is more measured and controlled. The organization is working off quantitative data to determine predictable processes that align with stakeholder needs. The business is ahead of risks with more data driven insight into process deficiencies. Maturity level 5, which is optimizing. Here an organization's processes are stable and flexible. At this final stage, an organization will be in constant state of improving and responding to changes or other opportunities. The organization is stable which allows for more agility and innovation in a predictable environment. Now as we have discussed about the maturity levels, we will now discuss the various capability levels of CMMI model in detail. The CMMI also has capability levels that are used to appraise an organization's performance and process improvement as it applies to an individual practice area outlined in the CMMI model. It can help bring structure to process and performance improvement and each level builds on the last similar to the maturity levels for appraising an organization. The capability levels are capability level 0, which is incomplete. It is a phase where organization is inconsistent in performance and an incomplete approach to meeting the intent of the practice area is taken. Capability level 1, which is initial. The phase where organizations start to address performance issues in a specific practice area, but there is not a complete set of practices in place. Capability level 2, which is managed. It is the phase where progress is starting to show and there is a full set of practices in place that specifically address improvement in the practice area. Capability level 3, which is defined. In this phase, there is a focus on achieving project and organizational performance objectives and there are clear organizational standards in place for addressing projects in the practice area. So these were the capability levels of CMMI model. 
Let us now discuss about the updated version of CMMI and what does it tells about. The latest version of the CMMI version 2.0 focuses more heavily on performance and how performance impacts businesses and how to understand an organization's performance needs. There is information on how to establish performance goals and then track those goals to make sure they are achieved at all levels of business maturity. Version 2.0 also integrates better with agile and scrum processes with a focus on safety and security. If you already have an agile practice in place, the CMMI version 2.0 will help you work around or improve established processes that already work for your business. The CMMI version 2.0 also aims to lower the overall cost of appraisals and shorten the time it takes to appraise an organization. The CMMI version 2.0 also cut back on the amount of technical knowledge included so it's easier for those outside of the tech industry to read and understand. There is also an online platform where users can build and design a model that suits the organization's specific needs. Now, as the final point of discussion of our today's session, we will now have a look about the various CMMI certifications. CMMI certifications are offered directly through the CMMI Institute, which certifies individuals, appraisers, instructors and practitioners. The CMMI Institute offers the following kind of certifications. The first one is CMMI Associate. The CMMI Associate certification demonstrates your commitment and abilities when it comes to capability and performance improvement. The certification validates that you have the skills and knowledge to connect the CMMI model to business value and to participate as an appraisal team member. The second one is CMMI Professional. The next level of certification is CMMI Professional Certification, which demonstrates your ability to apply the CMMI model in an organization structure through roadmaps for performance, team coaching, organizational change management and fostering a culture of improvement. The third one is Certified CMMI Lead Appraiser. As a Certified CMMI Lead Appraiser, you will be qualified to appraise organizations to determine their capability or maturity levels as outlined in the CMMI model. Applications are reviewed by the ISACA Appraiser Application Review Committee who will evaluate your qualifications for the certification. The fourth one is Certified CMMI Instructor. The Certified CMMI Instructor certification enables you to lead instructional courses on CMMI. You will lead a sponsoring organization that is also an ISACA partner and that is licensed for use of the CMMI product suit to qualify for the exam. We have now come to the conclusion of this particular session. For all your questions on today's session, we would be requesting you to please put them in the comments section of the video which will be uploaded on our YouTube channel and we will be really happy answering them. Till we meet next, TNV Academy offers you best wishes.